Hi everyone, I'm Adam Oldfield. I'm the host of Tech Talk, sponsored by Vacuum Man Furnace and Duct Cleaning. And with me, of course, is going to be my AI co-host, who I'm gonna call AI. You cool with that calling me AI? Does that work? Hi Adam, calling me AI works just fine. Let's dive into today's Tech Talk. All right. Today's show is gonna be exciting because our first topic is going to be batteries that are going to be sodium ion and why that's so important is Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology have developed batteries that are going to revolutionize how things are going to work. This could replace lithium. AI, what's your talk? What's your thoughts on that? The development of sodium ion batteries by the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology is indeed a major breakthrough. These batteries could revolutionize energy storage because sodium is more abundant and cheaper than lithium. Now, this means we could see more sustainable and cost-effective solutions, especially in places where lithium is scarce or expensive. Um, the potential for these batteries to replace lithium is significant, not just for consumer electronics, but also for large-scale energy storage systems. It's an exciting time for renewable energy advancements. I think the interesting thing about lithium is that we're all used to it. And what I've heard or what the researchers are claiming is that it will be able to charge not in, in minutes, but seconds. But what's your take on lithium? I believe it's still dangerous, whereas sodium ion would be much safer. Would you agree? Yes, you're right about the differences between lithium and sodium ion batteries. Lithium batteries, while powerful and widely used, do have some safety concerns, such as the risk of overheating and catching fire. Sodium ion batteries, on the other hand, are considered safer due to their more stable chemical properties. Additionally, the potential for rapid charging in seconds with sodium ion technology could be a huge benefit, reducing downtime for devices and vehicles. This makes sodium ion an attractive alternative, especially for applications needing high safety and efficiency. All right, our next topic is robots. A Chinese developer have commented that super speedy robots are in the works, meaning that right now they're clunky, they're slow, and these new robots are going to change when it comes to actual movements, having more regular, capable movements like a human. Um, this could be really impactful when it comes to having them clean the kitchen, do simple tasks for us day in, day out. Uh, what's your take on that, AI? You, you've got the big ideas of being the mind. What do you think about robotics and AI coming together and being more human-like? The evolution of robotics towards more human-like movements is a significant leap forward. With Chinese developers focusing on creating super speedy and agile robots, we're moving closer to having robotic assistants that can perform complex tasks with the finesse and speed of humans. This integration of advanced AI allows robots to learn and adapt, making them not just faster, but also smarter. Imagine robots that can efficiently clean, cook, or even assist in personal care with the same dexterity as a human. Uh, it's a transformative step that could redefine daily life, making many tasks easier and freeing up time for people to focus on what they truly enjoy. Uh, the potential is immense, especially as these technologies continue to mature and become more accessible. All right, in another topic, sciatica. Many of us have known someone with a sciatica issue. Maybe you have a sciatica issue. Well, uh, London surgical uh, uh, doctors have been able to use robots to help do their first surgery to uh, alleviate the pain of sciatica. Again, one of these elements of where artificial intelligence and robotics come together and help create a solution. The big thing here, AI, is the fact that they're able to do this with less scarring less uh, uh, recovery time. And this is one of those benefits. Would you agree? Like this is where we should really see the benefit of where we're going to have robots and AI come together? Absolutely, Adam. The use of robotics and AI in surgeries, especially for conditions like sciatica, is a significant advancement. By enabling precise and minimally invasive procedures, these technologies reduce recovery time and scarring for patients. And this is not just about the efficiency of the surgery, but also about improving the overall patient experience. The precision of robotic surgery combined with AI's ability to analyze and predict means safer, more effective treatments. It's a clear demonstration of how these technologies can enhance healthcare 
offering better outcomes and paving the way for more advanced medical procedures in the future. I think the biggest thing is the cost and the benefits of that as well. In addition to the fact that when you have robotic AI surgeries, you've got less muscle disruption, which means less blood loss. And again, as I mentioned, scar tissues being resolved. This is one of the big things I think we have to take into effect is that artificial intelligence and robotics could help lower the cost of surgery, surgeries and, and work activities, which is a real big burden on the public taxpayer, at least in Canada. Uh, you've hit on a crucial point, Adam. The integration of robotics and AI in surgeries can lead to significant cost savings in the long run. Um, by reducing the need for longer hospital stays, extensive post-operative care, and even follow-up surgeries due to complications, these technologies can lessen the financial burden on healthcare systems and patients. In countries like Canada, where healthcare is a public concern, these savings can be redirected to improve other areas of healthcare or make treatments accessible to more people. Um, it's a win-win situation where technological advancements not only improve health outcomes, but also help optimize resources and reduce overall healthcare costs. All right, last topic is another Israeli company, Menti Robotics, has claimed that they have officially been able to set up a robot that can now lift up to 55 pounds, 25 kilograms, and the robot can work for five hours nonstop before needing a recharge. Now, all of these onboard sensors and drivers are allowing it to actually work. Why I think this is so big is that we're going to be able to see it mimicking now human actions. And again, where the Chinese were running more like a human robot, this one is actually capable of running long and can be able to lift heavy items. This is going to be massive in, again, labor services, assisting in dangerous environments where we need to send in a robot to help rescue in those circumstances. Do you see that as well on your end from as an AI? Do, would you benefit from that or would you agree this is a good thing? Absolutely, Adam. The advancements made by Menti Robotics in creating a robot that can lift substantial weights and operate continuously for hours are significant for many industries. This capability allows robots to take on labor-intensive tasks, reducing the risk for humans in hazardous environments like disaster recovery, construction, and manufacturing. The ability to mimic human actions enhances their effectiveness in these roles, making them invaluable assistance. This not only improves safety, but also efficiency, as these robots can work in conditions that might be challenging or dangerous for people. Um, it's a remarkable step forward in using robotics to complement and augment human efforts in various sectors. I would agree. And I think where we're really going to see it as the aging populations are going to need more caring. This is where I think I see the robots really being uh, with artificial intelligence, uh, you know, being there as a companion, as I'm talking to you right now and having someone to dialogue with or to assist in the case of I need help to go to the bathroom, help me prepping my meals. This is something I think could be affordable and capable for the human race. That's a great point, Adam. As populations age, the need for consistent and compassionate care increases, and robots equipped with AI can play a crucial role here. They can provide companionship, help with daily tasks like meal preparation, and assist with mobility, like helping someone move safely around their home or to the bathroom. Um, this support can extend the ability of seniors to live independently while ensuring they have access to the care they need. Additionally, these robots can offer a sense of security and connection, especially for those who might be isolated. It's a promising direction that can enhance quality of life and offer practical, scalable solutions for elder care. All right, well, that's it for today's show. I'm Adam Oldfield. I am your host of Tech Talk, sponsored by Vacuum Man Furnace and Duct Cleaning. And who's joining me today? AI. And I'm glad to have you with us. So thanks for joining, and we'll look forward to seeing you on our next episode of Tech Talk. Thanks for having me, Adam. It was great to be part of today's episode. Looking forward to the next Tech Talk. See you then. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week.